Hey party people, welcome back to the channel. It's Emily and I just pulled up to the Lego store here in Austin, Texas because they're doing a gift with purchase and it's Bionicle. I don't really have an attachment to Bionicle and I don't even know anything about Bionicle. Actually, I take that back. I do know one of the character's names. I believe it's Makuita and he's like the ruler of the island. Is that right? I don't know. That also sounds like a Pokemon. So I guess I really do know nothing about Bionicle. But the reason I'm here to get the gift with purchase today is because my husband sent me here on a mission. He loves Bionicle. He grew up with Bionicle and he saw the box art and he was like, gee golly gosh, I want that in my collection. Unlike some of the other more recent gift with purchases from Lego, I feel like the threshold on this really isn't that bad. It's $95 to get it. And I need to get a lot of Pick Brick cups today, as well as some Lego Star Wars sets to give away on Whatnot this Sunday. I am like way too excited for this stream y'all i'll be hanging out with david from solid brick studios and if you didn't know we're besties you can see this picture here <laughs> we got to meet in person for the first time at brick fair virginia and after bothering him with enough messages over the last few weeks he finally agreed to let me co-host with him on sunday so definitely check the links down below to come to our whatnot stream and hang out with your favorite lego youtubers it's the crossover event you never saw coming so yeah definitely need to get some star wars sets to give away for that and i also have this bag with me today you're probably wondering what What's in the bag let me show you i need to spend 95 dollars to get the gift with purchase so i figured about like 50 dollars for lego star wars and then 50 dollars in pick a brick and even though i'm planning to buy like 12 pounds of new lego plastic bricks at least i'm reusing these plastic cups so i'm basically saving the planet all right <laughs> let's head in it's like really cold in texas right now i don't know how i feel about it i'm also wearing way less color than i typically do it feels kind of weird Woo, mall. every time i'm here i really want to get a cookie from that like cookie store there it smells so good and i actually called the lego store before i left the house today and they said they had like a good number of the bionicle gift with purchases left but like not a ton so i'm kind of worried here's the display in the front i don't think they've switched it up since january but then the reason we're here is our bionicle tahu and takuya gift of purchase oh and i guess i was wrong about the threshold i thought it was 95 it's actually 100 not a huge difference but still all right so let's head inside all right so i just got into the lego store and i wanted to show you the bionicle gift with purchase up close it's a little bit smaller than I expected like it's a tiny little mech but I think it's kind of cool I feel like I would like it more if I knew more about Bionicle but the thing is they're only available with certain themes and I didn't know that so it's with Lego City friends creator three in one dots and monkey kid and ninjago as well so slight change of plans but i do really like the platform he's on like it's more of a display rather than a play set so definitely a fan of that so i guess i'm not gonna get any star wars today i do think it'd be kind of fun to pick up some friend sets to give away and like this little boba one is super cute i feel like david's star wars audience is gonna love it creator three in one still an option though and i'm definitely gonna get some pab as well while i'm here some of the pick a brick pieces because we desperately need them even though they don't count towards the gift with purchase i feel like this one could actually be really cool like this creator three-in-one birdhouse but i love to park build more i think like that's so adorable there's like a little squirrel and hedgehog on there and it's only 30 dollars, so i feel like that would be kind of fun for the giveaway the new friends wave is also just so good like check out the school there one of my favorite parts about it is actually those one by two tiles like those are gonna be so useful i just love whenever lego makes more curved pieces they look so good this one's probably my favorite from the wave though it's just a little bit too expensive for the giveaway but definitely love this set the little party lights across the front are just so neat but i do think i'm actually gonna grab this one for the giveaway i just i just feel like david's community you know all the star wars people they're gonna love it plus i've been telling david for a while now that he should probably start doing more friends mocks like they're so much more colorful so we'll see if it happens but maybe giving away some friends will convince him look over at lego city now i really don't think much about the theme like truly i think friends is a much better like city building theme but i do love this otter battle pack like you get two otters in it and a little fishy so i'm gonna grab one of these for ten dollars i might actually grab another one but this one's for me i have 40 more dollars to spend until i qualify for the gift with purchase and these were kind of hiding but check them out it's like this little slushy van but with a penguin for some reason i guess he's the one selling the slushies it just looks really cute. I feel like this would be fun to have in the city and I like the top of it as well. I have 20 more to spend. I definitely don't need any more of this set here, but I just wanna let y'all know it's on sale. Marked down from 40, it's like $36. So like not a huge discount, but like 10% off isn't bad. I just love the reindeer battle pack. It's so good. Okay, and I know it sounds a little crazy, but I think I'm actually gonna grab two more of these. So I'll have like two to give away and then two for me because I like the otters too and I want some in my city. Plus the ATVs would look kind of cool next to the A-frame cabin. Here's my pile. 
well. And before I figure out what pieces I want to get, I just want to show off the Lego Star Wars ball real quick. Like they have everything. It's actually kind of crazy seeing so many sets here, especially like the new 501st Battle Pack. They have a ton in stock, but I'm not buying any Star Wars today. Oh well. One of the main things I need for the Lego City right now are just like bulk pieces. So like two by two bricks and really any other bricks. It looks like they have enough for at least like one cup, maybe two in there. So I need to fill up a few of that, especially with like working with the elevation in the city. We run out of bricks so quickly. But then another thing I'm considering is like our whole natural area is green. So like having bricks like this is really useful, but I'd rather have them be like two by twos or like one by fours. I just don't need pieces that big. And it doesn't look like they have too many new pieces since the last time I was here. They've always had like a bunch of plates like this and like the neon yellow color, which is kind of neat. I also like the blue petals. Like you could use these for the roses if you wanted to make them blue for whatever reason. It'd be kind of cool. But something I don't think I've seen before here are these like purple leafy pieces. I just love this color. Like it'd be kind of fun to incorporate it into the Lego city, but I just don't know if we need purple, you know, it's kind of out there. But then looking down here, they do have a lot of these green plates. And especially for the natural area, these would be so, so handy. So I might get a cup of these as well. And then maybe also some blue plates because they're trying to finish off the ocean and the beach and you need blue for that. So now I'm going to grab my cups and get started. And I usually stack the pieces, but honestly, it's Friday right now and traffic is going to be awful on the way home. So I just really, really don't feel like it. But then I changed my mind for the bricks because you waste so much space in the cups if you don't stack them. Whereas the plates, I feel like it doesn't matter as much. Plus the bricks are easier to separate later, whereas the plates are almost impossible. All right, here's three of the cups. I have one more to do. I'll show you all the individual pieces I got in a car haul later. All right, here's my four cups. Here's my pile. And now I think it's time to check out. All right, I got all my stuff from the Lego store. I don't know why I'm so tired after that. <laughs> I had a really good time there. I was just kind of like hanging out in the back, stacking bricks a little bit. I didn't want to stack the plates just because like they're impossible to get apart later. But I am definitely a little bit bummed about like the requirements for the gift with purchase. Like $100 is fine. Like I feel like that's pretty reasonable. But it sucks that it's only like Friends, City, Dots, Creator 3 in 1. That's like not what I came here for today. And to be fair, I probably should have looked it up ahead of time. And I just didn't. So that's on me, but I still feel like it's a little bit too restrictive. Anyways, time for a car haul. I didn't do a car haul at the end of my two previous videos and I actually got quite a few comments asking where the car haul is. So the car haul is back, you guys, don't worry. Let's see, what should we do first? I feel like you guys already know what I got, but we're gonna speed run this. I'm pretty sure Friends is his favorite theme, so I figured it'd be perfect for the giveaway during our stream together on Sunday. Again, y'all, links are in the description. Like, if you haven't downloaded Whatnot yet, use my link and you'll get $15 in-app credit, which is basically a free minifigure. And then make sure to bookmark the stream so you don't miss it. Come hang out, y'all, it'll be fun. Okay, next up, we got four times the Otter Battle Pack. One, two, three, four, back stalling. <laughs> I also got this cool three in one set for the giveaway. Oh, and then I think I'm gonna give away two of the Otter Battle Packs as well. I got this cool city set with the penguin. Pab Cup number one with two by two blue bricks. I know I should have stacked them, but it just takes so long and I'm trying to get home before rush hour green 4x4 four four plates, blue 4x6 plates. I did stack these though. They're 1x10 gray bricks. And finally, the moment you're waiting for, my Bionicle gift with purchase. I can't believe this was all for this. Like, I don't even understand who this person is. Bionicle, not my thing, but Ross loves it. He sent me here and so I was able to get this for him. So you're welcome, Ross, if you're watching this. You're welcome. <laughs> and before coming here today, I really didn't care much about this gift with purchase, but seeing it built in person was pretty cool. It comes on this nice little display stand, so it's actually like good for play, but also display, which is my favorite thing in Lego sets if they're able to do both. But yeah, here's the box again. I got my bonkle. Got the bonkle. I'm happy. Or rather, Ross is happy. <laughs> and I probably won't be giving away all of these sets on the stream with David just because I do have some other streams coming up and I feel like these would be really good for giveaways then as well. But I am giving away a lot of them on Sunday with Solid Brick Studios on whatnot. So come hang out. It'll be really fun. I think I might be able to convince him to build a friend's mock, but <laughs> we'll see. All right, well, there's my Lego safe and sound. And now it's time for me to head home. Thank you everyone so much for hanging out with me. Again, check out the links down in the description. I have to head home now and I'm probably gonna fight traffic on the way. <laughs>